Hi and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this. This is the project for Ava, our employee we're highlighting this month. She wanted something rainbow inspired, so we made this fantastic rainbow cane that we showed you how we made. And with it we made this really cool bowl with these lots of transparent rainbow colours in between the rainbow cane. So today I'm going to show you how to make this. So for Ava, she wanted to use the twisty cane we made to make her a platter. But rather than just putting only twisty cane, I thought it'd be a nice effect to put a transparent piece of glass between each one. So that's the effect we've gone for. Um, so we've got a transparent piece of, uh, of, of glass then a twisty cane and we're going through the kind of colours of the rainbow to stick with the rainbow theme in both the cane and uh, the transparent glass. So I'm going to get this ready and then I'm going to put it in the kiln. ready to go on a full fuse. So here this is out of the kiln. I'm now going to put it into slum. I love how it's come out. It looks so amazing, particularly up against the light. And then down you get the kind of pattern of the, um, the, the cane. It works really well, this piece. So we'll get it into slum and we can see how it looks when it comes out. So here this is out of the kiln. It was slumped on a bowl mould, this one, which is actually a round bowl mould, but I quite sometimes slumping a square into a round mould. The uh, bowl, the mould number will be in the information below. Ava, this is your bowl. Are you pleased? Yes. Are you Thank gonna, is, you. It gonna, is it going to a happy home? Yes, I'm going to get it. So remember, all of the um, products that we use are, are the Twisty Caners on our website, tabithasglassemporium.com. Um, you can buy all of our wonderful products there, plus sign up to our newsletter and you get information about everything that's going on at Tabitha's Glass Emporium, including new products, YouTube videos and lots, lots more. So I hope you've enjoyed this project and until next time, happy fusing.